Welcome to 25th of June's God's Blessing. How do we convert anything which is limited to unlimited? Anything which is limited makes us think, talk, see, feel limited. And we end up making others also feel hurt and sometimes we also make others feel unrelaxed or make them feel jittery around us. But when it comes to doing any form of service, spiritual service, we have to think unlimited. And that's what it means to be a Brahmachari. That means somebody who walks the steps of Father Brahma. So in today's blessing, God says, may you merge anything limited into the unlimited. Limited could be my place, my home, my land, my money, my idea, my things and my seva or my service, my spiritual place of doing service, my area even, into the unlimited by placing your footsteps in Father Brahma's footsteps and become an unlimited emperor. God says to follow the Father means to merge mine into yours. That means everything is everyone's. It means that we are ready to share this complete planet with everybody else. We are ready to share the wealth. We are ready to share the place for spiritual service provided everybody else also has an unlimited way of thinking. Otherwise, a limited way of thinking may bring about a lot of confusion, a lot of quarrel, a lot of misunderstandings and we end up breaking people's feelings and heart and instead of bringing people together, we end up pushing people out. So God then says, to merge anything limited into the unlimited, there is now a need to place your footsteps in these footsteps. Let everyone's thoughts, words and way of doing service be experienced as unlimited. Everyone's thoughts be unlimited, words be unlimited and way of doing service be experienced as unlimited. The way we do service. It's not limited, it's unlimited. It's not about my stage, my seva, my method, my way of talking is the best, my way of doing is the best, my way of explaining is the best. No. For self-transformation, this is very important, for self-transformation, finish all trace of anything limited. So if we are stuck into mine and my, then it becomes difficult to transform the self because we are talking from the point of view of greed or talking from the point of view of ego or talking from the point of view of limitations of different aspects of service. Whoever you see or whoever sees you, now this is very important how whoever we see or whoever sees us, let the intoxication of an unlimited emperor be experienced. Let them experience that there is an unlimited thinking over here which is being involved and there is no limitation. Let service be done. Let there be centers. Let the service be done. Let there be centers which open up. But let there not be any trace of any limited name. That would mean that this center was opened by me. It was my idea, it was my method, it was my thought, it was my tapasya, it was my, my, my and my. The same thing can be applied in a worldly life also. My place, my money, my area, my things. For only then will you be able to claim the throne of the future kingdom. So when we are thinking unlimited, when we are thinking of bringing everybody together, that's what God wants us to do. And if we make ourselves limited, then we are limited and we do not grow. As many number of people we can get in touch with, as many minds, as many ideas, as many different souls with different qualities and experiences and virtues and values will we come across and that's what we need in our life more, right? And that's what God says, go from limited to unlimited and you'll be able to overcome your limitations also. Om Shanti with this.